services, these things break those cover plates. So look behind your pop machines because or snack machines or whatever. That seems to be a notorious place for whatever reason. Now we're gonna dive right into units and here's a bunch of categories. Again, we're not gonna have time to do all of this, but I'm gonna highlight the main things versus all the details, there's lots of details. Uh, and one thing we're gonna launch with is we have Jet Sherman with us. Thank you for joining us, Jet. I want Sherman Jet. Or Sherman Jet. Jet Sherman. <laughs> Not feeling our hurt. Okay. <laughs> I feel hurt all the time as an inspector. I have rejection of pain. I feel no law, typically. Yeah. Uh, a lot of rejection uh, goes into this job. We're going to jump to doors. And I'm just going to frame it in a little bit, but I'm going to let give it over to uh, the Sherman there to run that is the fact that you've got two types of entry doors, obviously from the building perspective and into the unit perspective. Uh, this could be either or, but uh, his can uh, again go either or. We're going to focus on the unit itself and the deficiency. Uh, I'll probably frame it in a little bit after. If we go to an entry door, in the seat and we can see daylight from the entry door into the unit then we make a determination if the seal is damaged it's damaged seal level three if the seal is not damaged then if your frame assuming something's out of square is a level three and i'm going to stop right there and sherman or yes come on down I feel like the brace is right and watch your trip hazard <laughs> and we are going to here's your control, and I'm going to change the screen without screen level three. three either. I've created. You created. That is a test. Is that okay? And if all our technical skills suit us right, yay! And I say adjust this. So you do what you do, and I'll adjust this. I think we're good, right there. Okay, you go. Um, Thanks again to Top Score for uh, asking me to come in and do this segment of uh, their uh, program uh, class that they're offering to you guys. Um, I deal in exterior door seals, uh, and I did notice there's three customers in here who actually already use my door seals. So that's great, and I'm going to ask for uh, their input uh, on our seals and how they've been working for uh, them and their customers and how they're affecting their budget, how they're affecting their man hours, uh, and how it, they have affected their REACT stores. So our seals aren't just something you put up on, the, on an exterior door and you solve the problem until the next REACT inspection comes up. It's a long-term solution. It's designed to reduce your overall cost. Um, we understand the, the weather stripping industry when it comes to uh, exterior doors. We understand that they're gaming us and providing us with a product that temporarily works so you can run back to the store in a year, a year and a half and buy it over again. Uh, I understand what HUD is asking you guys to do. They're asking you guys to go green. There's a reason why they're asking you guys to go green now. Because in three to five years from now, they're going to touch your budget again. And they're going to say, I told you to go green. I told you to start buying products that will save you money because that cost savings would have helped you in that budget reduction that we're doing for you three to five years from now. And it's coming. It's coming. Um, so here we are in the playing field of trying to help you guys um, um, reduce your overall cost. And we're serious about it. Uh, we're serious about uh, being a uh, replicable, replicable company that actually do what we say we're going to do. And, and as we talk, I'll ask a customer, couple, couple of our current customers to expound on actually how our product works. Because it's easier for, for you guys to believe it from them than it is for me. Okay? First, um, let's talk about uh, React points. Uh, here's a perfect example of a, of a uh, level three um, react deduction point. That's normal. I see that an awful lot uh, at housing authorities, an awful lot. Um, 
a lot of times the maintenance guys work very hard to, to seal the doors, but there's several reasons why you can't consistently seal an exterior door, um, even at your own home. Does anybody, can anybody give me three or four reasons why you can't seal your door consistently, day in and day out? Anybody help me out? Settlement. Say again? Settlement. Yep. Settlement is one. Those uh, doors put up in the 50s, and that just ran away from Right. <laughs> doors installed improperly uh, because they didn't have that leveling system, and they still can't uh, seal the door properly or level the door properly. Um, the weather changes. Expansion. There you go. The weather changes. Uh, what you fix in January, now come March or April, is down here because of movement. Um, tenant abuse. Someone's knocking on that door wanting to get in. And they're really knocking on that door. Most of them, they don't knock. They just kick them <laughs> That's true. So we have those issues. Well, our product is designed to actually seal that door and seal it for a very, very long time. We consider our green seal system an investment product not a temporary fix. We want you to have our product three, six, and nine years later if you're high performance. Every time that React inspector comes in, door seals is something you shouldn't be stressing out about. Okay, this here is a problem that we uh, ran into, which is for us is common, uh, that has a uh, three inch gap um, you really don't understand it, and I'll get into the details of cost, but that little crack there, was, it's only probably five inches wide. It's costing about $125 a year. Just that little gap. Uh, we grew up with gaps in our own homes. We tried peel and stick and different ideas to seal the door, and finally we, we say, well, that gap's not hurting me too bad. Uh, I'm going to kind of not notice that it's there, but in actuality, that gap is there. Um, it is affecting your overall budget. If you take this 125 and divide it by 12, uh, 12 dollars isn't hurting me. But if I have 130 units, or 250 units, or 500 units, it's a lot of money that I'm throwing out the window um, because that crack is not a big deal. It's really a big deal. So what we've done was seal that crack with our system, and it's a, it's a pretty big big gap. Uh, you can't buy any products off the shelf that will seal a crack this big. You cannot buy it off the shelf. It's a specialty product that you have to buy from a weather stripping supplier. Uh, our system is 6550 for the complete door seal. Just to seal the top part of the door, that's a specialty product. It'll run you about $200 to $270 just to seal gaps like this with the specialty products that weather stripping companies sell to the specialty. Not just something you can go buy and put up. So that's why we developed this system. Um, what you noticed here is a before and after. Uh, this is what the door looked like before we put our seal on the door. Um, after we sealed it, this is the results that it, it, it had after our product was uh, uh, installed on that particular door. So we've had it tested and it does work. Uh, uh, Bobby Joe Kaysen from Statesboro is sitting here. Uh, he's one of my best customers. The guys, he's also one of my toughest customers because I said what I say I, I said I could do but he wanted me to prove it. Uh, he's uh, very fiscally sound about how he spends his money and what he spends his money on at his facility. And um, uh, he made me prove it. Uh, he was tough on me, which he should be. It's his money. Um, and uh, one of the statements after about uh, six months, after calling him back, uh, he kind of really wanted to hang up on me. Because one of the statements he said that his tenants were saying, and if you could 
to jump in right now and, and tell the, the class what your tenants were saying about our products. Well, 